so now here is an example again uh, the same example which i am carrying forward from the goals to the data table now the data table explanatory defined itself that we will be creating a kind of a table uh, row wise and a, and a column wise and we need to fetch some of the amounts from the from that data table and i will let you know the the current and the most uh, modern dynamic technique of the array functions as well and if you are using excel 365 with a subscription model so that you can use the array features and the array uh, functions as well and now they are dynamically uh, changing the practices in in the industry with related to the financial models as well so we have a two classes of uh, excel uh, users in the industry right now the one who are using the traditional old excel and the one who have the office 365 and the excel 365 subscription which in which they can get the excel latest features and the functions available they can make sure they can make their work very easily in minimum time so we will discuss uh, the both scenarios and we will know that what is a data table so kindly listen it very carefully uh, what is a data table let me just give you the conceptual side first so the excel data tables allows you to review how changing certain values in your formula formula will affect the results of the formulas so in one operation you can produce multiple versions of your calculations and have the results layout in the tabular form in your worksheet and which enables you to easily view and compare the various results so generally in microsoft excel you can create either with one variable data table or a two variable data table depending on the on whether you want to test the effect of alternating one or two variables so quickly concluding that a one variable data table can be used with numerous formulas but a two variable data can have only one formula and i will show you right now in this example so let's discuss this example we have a loan amount of 1 lakh interest rate of 12% number of periods in years is 5 and we need to drive the monthly payment which i have already told you uh, earlier so i will quickly calculate the monthly payment first okay so now let's say if i calculate a monthly payment in which i need to make sure that the rate should be monthly so i am dividing it by 12 my number of periods should be monthly so i am multiplying it by 12 and present value okay so i got my monthly payment as a negative because it's a cash outflow right now i need uh, might be possible later on i need to have two variables analysis as a data table and i need to look with a different perspective that if i get a loan of 50000 for the 3 years how much will be the monthly payment if i get a loan of 125000 for the 15 years how much will be the monthly payment now there are so many different situations we need to see all together in that kind of situation i can create a data table okay now but uh, there is a limitation of a data table and i will show you that how you can create a data table so for example if i have created an array you can see there is a column there is a column wise number of years has been plotted 3 5 8 10 and 15 and as a row wise i have put it some of the amounts loan amount 50000 75000 and so on so for example if i need to calculate all these different situations monthly payments all together i can use the data table so for example if i select this entire range i will go to data and i will click on data table so when you click on data table there are only two fields you have need to input the cell you need to define the input cell row wise and the column wise now how you will identify that which cell will be added in the row input cell and which cell will be added in the column input cell right so this is very easy let me explain you the row wise contains the amounts of the loan on the row number 2 we have multiple different number of loan amounts so row wise we will pick a cell which contains the original amount of that situation which is 1 lakh rupees in b2 in the column input cell you you can see different number of years so we will pick cell b4 as an original example number of year in this data table as a column field and i will press okay when i press okay it generates zero everywhere and and this was the limitation which i needs to tell you that how to overcome this as the data table that did not find the any connectivity of a single monthly payment with within this array okay 
so there is a limitation is that i need to either copy paste or cut paste i i can cut and paste control x for the cut and control e for the paste i need to move this output cell to here on d2 and now when i select this range and when i will go to the data table in the raw input cell original amount of the loan in the column input cell the number of years and when i click okay so now you can see here with a one click you have a different loan payment amounts of different time periods and a different loan amounts right and we can verify as well if if the loan is 1 lakh rupees for the 5 years you can see that here is the answer which we were trying to do so data table can set on the two different variables on a different kind of situations where you can uh, quickly fetch the multiple results uh, of your numbers of your required numbers right so there was a limitation that i need to put this emt function which is the monthly payment function with this array if i remove this function and put it anywhere on the spreadsheet the data table will not be created so this is the default structure we need to follow okay but for for creating a data table but now what we are we are doing is and what we have in office 365 subscription is let me show you so we have the dynamic array available which can replace the data table as well so for example if i write a function which is the payment so i need a rate right so for getting a rate what i can do is i will go to b3 divide by 12 to make it a monthly rate then number of time periods so here we have a number of time periods different time periods okay but we need to make it a monthly because these time periods are yearly basis 3 5 8 10 15 so to make it a monthly what i can do is multiplying this whole range by 12 all right then it says define the present values so we have a multiple present values presented as a row wise and i will close this function so as soon as i close this function you can see that without that limitation and with the help of an array formula dynamic array formula now it's possible to create a data table as we see on in the above example we have a limitation to switch the result output within this array but here uh, we can do independently right and these kind of utilities dynamic arrays can be only applied when you have the office 365 excel 365 subscription but as a traditional user you need to follow this kind of a limitation but i hope that this feature is also um, very much helpful in the financial models 